All right guys, so if you're going to Israel and you want to try the food, check out this video. Okay, so there is some phenomenal food in Israel. If you go to Israel, there's some food that you have to try while you're here. Um, I mean, you might not be able to try everything, but if you're here for at least a week or two, try as many of these things as you can. Definitely the number one thing to try is hummus. The first thing I, I had when I came to Israel was some good old hummus, um, some pita bread, different vegetables and fried and cooked things. It's really, really good. Hummus here is just phenomenal. It's super, super good, especially when you get it fresh. You can get it at the market and whatnot, um, but it's just like any other hummus you get in any other country. But the, the hummus that you get from a restaurant or the homemade stuff is so, so good. Hummus is phenomenal. Um, there's a lot of different places you can get hummus, obviously, obviously, all throughout um, Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or anywhere, anywhere you go in Israel, you'll, you should be able to find a restaurant that has hummus. And then um, definitely another thing you should try is shakshuka. Shakshuka is not only fun to say, but it's, it's really good. It's really good in the morning. Oftentimes you have it with a breakfast or a, a brunch. And it's kind of like a tomato, tomato like sauce soup with uh, when you make it and I made it actually before I tried it out here but you make a, a a big bowl of it or a big pot of it and then when they make it um, you make basically your tomato soup paste stuff and then when it's boiling you put eggs into it and then it cooks the egg it poaches the egg in the soup um, or in the stew whatever it is it's super good really really good with breakfast um, they also have really big breakfasts here so just be you know be warned that um, if you're expecting a tiny little breakfast no you're gonna have a big long breakfast and it's it's kind of like a, a bigger ordeal than in some countries depending where you're from falafel falafel is also something you definitely have to try and oftentimes you can try this with hummus falafel is it's like a little chickpea uh, dough ball like thing that they fry and they you can eat it just you know just as in and of itself it's like looks like a little donut almost um, you can dip it in hummus that's really good oftentimes when you're having hummus they'll serve falafel with it you can have a falafel pita stuff sandwich and it's like hummus some spicy stuff some vegetables pickles um, falafel and do vegetables and whatnot you can put more stuff on top but it's like this delicious pocket of goodness um, that they call a falafel I think sandwich or something but it's you know falafels are super super good I uh, would definitely recommend them you guys gotta try tahini tahini is really good it's a lot like hummus um, it's actually a, a big one of the major ingredients when you're making hummus hummus is like chickpeas tahini uh, garlic, onions, uh, I think there's salt and a couple other things you can put in it. Um, I've only made it a couple of times, but when you're making, uh, when you're having tahini, it's similar to it, except for it's a little bit, um, the taste is a little bit different. If you've had hummus, it's similar to hummus. I mean, obviously hummus has tahini in it, so um, it's definitely something I would, I would recommend trying. And you eat it kind of in the same manner that you would eat hummus. It's like a, a paste or a sauce. Now, I'm probably saying this one wrong, kanafe, kanafe, but kanafe is really good. It's actually a, I think it's an Arabic dish that they have around the Middle East and in Israel, obviously, and it is, it's kind of like a, it's like a little cheese dish with, they fry it or something, and they, they pour like, um, it's like a sugar water over it. It almost tastes like honeycomb. If you've had honeycomb, um, but like imagine honeycomb with cheese. That's like honeycomb with cheese on the bottom and whatnot. It's a really, really good dish. Um, definitely recommend it. If you can get it fresh, if you can get it thin and fresh, so good. Um, I definitely, definitely would recommend it. Super delicious. Hopefully I pronounced it correct. Kanafe. 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 I'll put it on the screen. Um, so hopefully I, I'm saying it right. All right, guys. Well, um, there's one more, one more dish you have to try when you're in Israel and that's meatballs with sweet potatoes. So guys, meatballs and sweet potatoes, I think sweet potato in Hebrew is batata, batata. I wanna say it's batata, 
Um, but yeah, meatballs and batata or meatballs and sweet potatoes. And it's basically just exactly how it sounds. It's like a dish with, you know, sweet potatoes cooked and mashed and whatnot. There's different ways they serve it and they have the meatballs on top and it's, it's a pretty good dish. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I definitely, definitely enjoy it, but um, it's something that you know, a lot of locals be like, oh, you gotta try, you gotta try this dish or whatever. But yeah, shashuka, uh, falafels, uh, shawarma, shawarma is also a really good thing. Shawarma is like, um, it's like, like meat, chicken, or beef uh, cooked on those big spindles that, that rotate, almost like a rotisserie chicken, but it's just big pieces of meat that are on top of each other on, on a big skewer, and it rotates, and they cut off thin slices of the meat, and they put it on a sandwich, or they put it in a wrap, and you got your vegetables, your hummus. It's almost like the falafel pita sandwich, except for the bread's different, and then there's meat in it. Um, Falafel is vegan, which is nice, not vegan. It's at the very least, it's um, it's vegetarian. I don't know if it's vegan, I think it is, but at the very least, it's it's vegetarian uh, and it's, you know, it's super good. But the shawarma, shawarma is definitely not vegetarian. There's definitely meat in it. Um, you might be able to substitute uh, the meat for falafel. That would just be like a falafel sandwich. I've never had that, but I'm assuming you could if you were at a restaurant that served both. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely these are some foods that you gotta check out when you come to Israel. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys have the chance to try some of these foods. And um, if you like this video, just let me know. If you got any questions or comments, just put them in the comment box. And um, subscribe if you liked it. All right guys, peace out, take care.